looks like we're gonna be here for a while and I'm bored and it'd be a lot easier if I could just show you guys what I'm doing um, rather than explain to you what you should be doing. Alright cool, this is my living room. Um, I wake up, I eat breakfast, then I start talking to you guys, and then I start watching a bunch of YouTube videos about whatever it is I'm trying to learn about. And it's recently been murals and drawing skills. And a lot of you have been asking about drawing skills and how you can get better at drawing, so what we're going to be doing is just some little um, warm-up activities and um, practices to like work on shading and work on color blending and things like that. Um, while you're at home, just make sure you have a pencil and a sharpener. This is going to be our warm up for the day. Um, we might already know the elements of art, so what you can also do is pick one to practice that you want to practice after you go over all seven. I always start in my sketchbook. Look, there's even a pencil in there. I um, was playing with this Batman symbol because we're doing the Batman mural. Um, Batman mural is actually on a big living room wall. It has four different faces and Gotham City. So I'll be showing to that, that to you soon. I did send a picture through Google Classrooms. Of course, I made video of how it's being made for you guys to see. All right, so we're gonna start with some sketching. One of my favorite things to do um, with drawing is to use it like a tool for studying. So while you're home, um, think about all the things that you have to study on your own and how boring it is to write it over and over when you could be drawing it. So these are the elements of art. Um, we have line, shape, color, form, value, texture, and space. These are all important because, um, well, because every art piece is made up of all one, two, three, four, five, six, seven elements. Anything that you're creating is going to have these elements. Um, when you draw, you're going to make it a, a drawing up of lines. Uh, shape is what everything is made out of. So even if I'm drawing a person, they have certain shapes that they're made out of. Um, color or lack of color. There's going to be either that feeling that there is no color or you're going to be able to see the colors. Form is two different ways if we have like a literal piece of art like a sculpture that could be the form but if you're drawing and you make it look like it's in 3d or lifelike or real that's another way to um, suggest form value is when your color or in this case black fades all the way to white so I could even I could do a value scale with any color so it could be blue it could be green it could be red as long as it goes to the darkest of that color all the way down to white that's the value scale of that color um, value is good for shading it's good for color changes um, especially if you're drawing something like the sky um, shading if you're drawing skin you're gonna have shadows and light spots um, and anything that's gonna look 3d so you're gonna need shading and value to show that there's shadows and light in different areas texture is going to show you kind of what it would feel like if you touch it um, in these three cases I put like a bumpy texture almost like uh, 
skin or like a lizard skin. Um, I drew this really quick like spiky ball thing and then like a softer texture that looks just soft. Um, I think I need more practice with texture. Space is just like how much space you're going to use. This could mean if it's a picture how deep it looks like the pic picture is going um, or it could also be if it's a literal physical piece like a sculpture how much how big the sculpture is or how big the art piece is um, my picture shows space by this planet back here this dark planet back here is farther away than this planet up here you can tell that because it's just a little bit shaded um, it's a little shadowy it's a little bit blurry it's harder to see than this one up in the front all right, so this is my Elements of Art page. Uh, again, we're using sketching like a tool for studying. So right now, in this case, we're studying the Elements of Art. I want you guys to try to do something like this page. All you have to need is really a pencil and a piece of paper. Remember, there are seven different elements, line, shape, color, form, value, texture, and space. And after you're done making, you know, an example of each of those elements on the page, you can just go back and color it in like a coloring sheet. All right, cool. Okay guys, so this is your first assignment for art class. It's gonna warm you up um, and put us right into a space so that we're ready to work on our next activity. Our next activity is gonna be posted in the classroom. These videos are specifically for my middle school art classes. Um, while you're at home at this time, just continue to work on your drawing skills and work with these elements. The farther that you get through these activities at home, the less work you'll have to do when we do get back to school because you'll be able to move forward. If you can't do these at home, don't worry, we'll go back into it as soon as we get back into school. And if you have any questions, problems, or concerns, just email me. My email will be below. And if you have any ideas of things that you want to draw and work on while we're um, away from school, just comment below.